Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. As 2021 comes to an end, we need to diversify our account because as we've done our research and look at all the wealthy people, they own all of these three things. They own stocks, they own real estate, and they own their own business. So far, we've been investing into stocks very heavily, and now we can start to diversify our portfolio into real estate. One of the ways that I like to invest into real estate is by investing into real estate REITs. REIT stands for Real Estate Investment Trust. And what I love about these is that I do not have to go out and buy the physical real estate of these properties. I could just buy the stocks of these REITs that are out there doing the same thing that retail real estate agents are doing. So when it comes to REITs, they work with big companies that you're already investing into like Walmart, um, Home Depot, Amazon, but these companies don't own their own land and they don't build their own buildings. What they do is they reach out to these companies that do own the land, that do build buildings. And what Walmart would do after they reached out to the REIT, they would say, hey, we need a building, 10,000 square feet, can you make it happen? They say, sure, this is our plot of land. This is the building we built for you. Now what you're gonna do is we're gonna lease it out to you for the next 10 to 15 years and you could pay all the bills, right? So once the real estate REIT has leased it out to Walmart, Walmart is now is the Walmart and Walmart have to pay um, lease to this REIT and they also have to pay all of the bills inside of that building. That is called a triple net lease and that is why I love about REITs is because they have these long-term agreements with these awesome companies that they know that they're gonna continuously get this revenue in. So why not own the companies? Why not own the land that these big companies are putting their businesses on top of? Now, what I love about REITs is that they usually have higher dividends than other paying companies because by law, REITs have to pay out 90% of their profits back to their investors in the form of dividend. That means that we could receive dividends every single month or every single quarter from the top five dividends that you should buy in 2022 that I'm going to bring you guys today in this video. So make sure that you stick throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on any crucial information. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. It helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. But before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Webull. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description. Deposit any amount of money. You can deposit one penny if you guys want to, and you receive five free stocks valued up to around $8,000. Once you receive those five free stocks, you could keep them inside the portfolio and decide to use it, or you could sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money, guys. That is the awesome way to start off your 2022 year. Also, I'm gonna leave a link to Moomoo down in the description. You will also receive another five free stocks once you deposit $100 into their platform. And you can do the same things with their stocks valued up to $8,000. And also cryptocurrency is hopefully gonna pick up soon. So if you guys wanna pick up some free Bitcoin, I'm gonna leave a link to Coinbase in the description. That is by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. If you sign up using that link, you get a free $10 worth of Bitcoin. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. The first read I'm gonna give you guys is ticker symbol STAG, STAG. Now over the last year, STAG is up 46%. STAG, they focus on distribution centers. 40% of their income come from e-commerce. Now what is the first thing that pops in your mind when I say distribution center? That's right, Amazon. They are a part of Amazon portfolio and 2.5% of their income comes from uh, Amazon. So whenever Amazon is expanding, so will STAG. So that is why I love this company. Right now they have a 3.19% dividend yield. Now Stag, they own over 117 buildings across 40 different states. Stag is a REIT that focuses on the acquisition and operations of single tenant industry properties ranging from $5 million to around $50 million. Stag valuation is more attractive than that of other industry REITs. Stag is among the cheaper industry REITs at a 20.5x FFO compared to the medium of 30.1x FFO. Now, Stag goal for its investors is to find a powerful balance between income and growth. So it's very important that their dividends is not too high so they could use some of their profits to reinvest back into the company in order to continue to grow the company. Because if their dividends was too high, they would not have enough money left over to continue to grow their company. So that's why they found, so that's where they find a nice balance at. Let's move over to stock number two. Stock number two is Regency Centers, ticker symbol REG. Over the last year, they're up 59%. 
Now, Regency Center is a Jacksonville, Florida based REIT and one of the biggest shopping center operations, housing a number of grocers as tenants. With economies looking forward from the pandemic and retailers bouncing back from their declines, shopping center REITs like REG are near full recovery. Bargains in the shopping center REIT sectors were becoming hard to find before the Omicron driven sell off. And coming in at stock number three is PSEC, Prospect Capital. Now, PSEX provide capital to middle market companies that have over 120 different companies in 30 different sectors. Now, we take a look at PSEX. One thing that I really love about this company is that they have a very high dividend yield of 8.5%. That is one of the main reasons I invest into PSEC is because they have a pretty high, decent dividend yield that is not in danger of the company. They only had to cut their dividends over the last 10 years once due to the pandemic. But because of that, the price did drop on PSEC and I was able to go in and pick up a couple of shares at a decent price. Now, PSEC have been paying me out every single month. They are a monthly paying dividend stock. They've been paying me out every single month in the form of dividends. So that is why I really love this real estate REIT, PSEC. So yeah, I've been having some major growth with some of these companies. If you guys wanna be a part of the Patreon to see whenever I buy and sell some of these stocks, I have alerts down in my Patreon. That link will be down in the comment section. Over there, they'll take you to the Discord while I post every time I buy and sell different stocks, post technical analysis, and we also do day trades to try to grow small accounts to large accounts fast. So if you guys wanna be a part of a great community that watches the market very, very well, Click that link down in the comment section that'll take you to my Patreon and you'll have access to a whole bunch of knowledge and great people. The next one, stock number four is Duke. And the main reasons by far, the only reason that I love Duke is because they are Amazon's top tenant that's right they almost double maybe triple almost quadruple the nearest competition when it comes to only land for amazon deuce top tenant is amazon at nine percent now, as I said before, one thing that stands out about Duke Realty is this relationship with Amazon. The e-commerce giant is Duke top tenant at 9% of its annualized net lease value, making it three times larger than the industry's REIT's second largest tenant. The companies have been working together to support Amazon's growing logistics needs, which includes building more fulfillment centers as well as last mile delivery stations. As Duke continues to develop those type of properties to support the growth of Amazon and other major e-commerce players, in turn, the company could continue to grow shareholders value. So hey, once again, whenever Amazon is doing good, why not own the land? Why not own the property that Amazon is using to be a successful business? So that's that's me using my big brain ideas, investing into the actual land, the real estate land that Amazon is running to be a successful company. So as long as Amazon is around, they have these long-term lease with these real estate companies, which is gonna continue to pay me consistent dividends. And the last one, ticker symbol number five, CLLD, AmeriCorps Realty. They are down on the year 12.94%. I'm going to tell you guys why. And over the last five years, they're up 82%. Now, AmeriCorps, they had a big shoot up from the pandemic. They specialize in a very specific niche. I always look for companies that, that solves a solution. And this company does it. They, they work in a very specific niche of refrigeration cold storage. Now, they did get a couple of contracts because all of the vaccines that we've seen in the news have to be stored at very cold temperatures. So all the refrigerators that you see at these big businesses, all the cold storage warehouses, um, America probably built those machines, probably built those um, warehouses. And also they did have a contract to where they were storing some of these um, vaccines that had to be stored at very cold temperatures using their products, America Realty. It finally had the pullback that we was looking for. It was all the way up to, let's say, uh, 30, 40-ish dollars at one point, and now it's pulled back to $31.96. So this was the pullback that we we're looking for, because as you guys can probably see, every six months or so, there's a new variant out there. So this is probably not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, so investing into a specific niche that solves a solution like cold storage might be a great grab for 2022. They do have a dividend yield of 2.75%. All right, guys, here we are on the portfolio visualizer. I'm about to show you guys the power of consistently investing to high paying dividend companies and also reinvesting your dividends. Let's say we invested into three of these companies back in 2012. 
well, right? 2012 to 2021. Let's include the year today. And let's say we just started off with a thousand dollars and we reinvested maybe three hundred dollars a week. So that's three six nine to twelve hundred dollars a month into these three companies. Um, and just for inflation, invest every single month. And this is the important room right here where it says reinvest dividends. Yes, and we're gonna go in and put in three of these companies. Let's say we took in REG, uh, PSEC. There you go, DRE. All right, and hit analyze portfolio, and let's scroll down. So here we go with REG. We have two hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars. PSEC. We have three hundred and three thousand dollars. And Duke, four hundred and eighty thousand dollars now when it comes to our dividend income psec right now will be bringing it in in 2021 around 23 around twenty three thousand dollars in dividends every single year and with duke will be bringing in eight thousand dollars that's why i kind of love psec it it has a decent growth rate right right, right now we have around three hundred thousand dollars and we have a pretty high dividend uh passive income that we'll make every single month by doing absolutely nothing at all but duke has the a uh, better income up to $480,000, but you'll only be bringing in around $8,000 worth of dividends a year. So there we go, dreamers. Those are the top five stocks that you could buy in 2022 that could generate you passive income for a lifetime, guys. Remember, be smart. Don't just invest into these companies. Invest into what these companies are building their big giant businesses on which is uh real estate REITs if you guys have any other real estate REIT ideas please drop those down in the comment section i love to check those out and probably cover a whole nother video on what other real estate REITs that you guys come up but yeah guys if you made it to the end of this video don't forget to pick up your five free stocks from Webull and also from Moomoo and go ahead and pick up your free cryptocurrency from Coinbase those links are down in the description. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.